Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna create this motion graphics. Image. And just a side note, today's video is inspired from Envato Elements. Grab this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse here. I don't want a stroke and I'll just make this a yellow. I'm gonna center this, layer, transform, and center anchor point to layers. I'm gonna center this to the composition using the align. And what I'm gonna do is duplicate this by control D and shut off the eye for the top layer. And I'm gonna animate the position, right? All right, hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position. Set a keyframe here and go back to the first frame. Move this up. Select both these keyframes, hit F9. And here you have to move this up a little bit and copy this, control C, and move forward a few frames, paste that. So what you have is this. So we're gonna make some adjustment here in the graph editor. So if you don't have a graph like this, select this and make sure you check this speed graph. And what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna tweak it a little, something like this. Right after this, you have to trim this off. Hold down Alt on the keyboard and hit the close square bracket so that it trims that. And we're gonna start this animation from here. So hold down Alt and begin square bracket. And from here, we're gonna animate second ellipse, all right? So collapse this, contents, and ellipse, ellipse path, and I'm gonna animate this size. So set a keyframe here and maybe around here and you can just, you know, skate it way up so that it covers the entire composition. So what you have is this. Select this keyframe, F9, and make the graph something like this. So right at the point where it reaches the center here, we're gonna start the animation of this. All right, so you want a hole in between in between these circles. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this ellipse one inside this shape layer two. Control D to duplicate it. And what I'm gonna do is hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And I'm gonna offset this. Collapse this shape layer again. Go to add and merge path. All right, so once you added that, Collapse this and mode to exclude these intersections so you have a hole in between. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, rename it circle one, and I'm gonna duplicate duplicate this control D and you know offset the timing here. Change the color of this to white. And what I'm gonna do here is duplicate another copy, Control D to duplicate and offset it, offset the timing and change the color to your desired color. I'm gonna go for something like this. After you are done with that animation, let's go and create a text, which is a trend. So I'm gonna go here and turn off this, skate it up skate it way up, something like this. Align it to the center. And I'm, I'm gonna swap the color for just uh, the stroke. I don't want a fill, so I'm gonna swap this. And put this below this circle, all right? And I'm gonna animate this from here. Hit P on the keyboard, set a keyframe. And in fact, I'm gonna move a little bit to the right side. And I'm going somewhere here and maybe align it to the center here. All right, so set, select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. Go to the graph editor once again, and I'm gonna change the graph to something like this. Go back to the normal timeline, and maybe that's a little fast. I'm gonna drag this away and drag this. All right, so once you have that, you'll have to mask out this so that 
it the text appear only to the center here so the way how to do that is duplicate the circle number three control d and move it just above the text go inside this circle here and i'm gonna delete or maybe i'm gonna change the merge path to to add all right so i'm gonna change i'm gonna use this as a mask toggle the layers here and change this to circle number four so you have only the circle center here so i can rename this as a mask and in fact i'm gonna trim this text layer hold down alt on the keyboard and begin square bracket and go to the last hold down alt and close square bracket so right here i'm gonna select all the layers and i'm gonna trim this by holding down alt on the keyboard and close square bracket so make sure you you trim off the first circle which is this one hold down alt and trim that because we just need that till here all right so let's move on to the next uh, text animation trends all right so scale it down and center it to the composition pre-compose this Control shift and c and text hit ok and go inside the text and select this and draw a box around the text go to composition crop comp to origin of interest so it crops the composition and go back to the main composition here and i'm going to trim this hold on alt on the keyboard begin square bracket and what i'm going to do now is go to the effects and presets and type in motion tile right so motion tile drag and drop it on that layer and i'm going to go here in the effects controls and output height you know just increase the output height move this somewhere here so if you think the gap the gap between these two texts are too too high then you can go inside the composition again and you can refine the crop here so i'm gonna crop even more and composition crop comp to region of interest like that and if you go back to the main composition you can see that you have uh, smaller gaps here all right so let's go ahead and animate this by animating this at the beginning here you set a keyframe for tile center and go few frames and you can move it down hit u selecting on the layers to bring up the keyframes select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease and select the graph Go like this go to the normal timeline once again so i'm gonna duplicate this Control d move this somewhere here maybe align it to the center so as you can see here you have this because the texts are too large so select both the composition hold down shift and drag and scale it down and i'm gonna center this to the composition here and move this to the to the left side duplicate the first text control d and you can move this to the right side somewhere here so once you have that you need this layer select this hit u on the keyboard select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes like that so it goes reverse you but you have to go inside the graph editor and you know change it back to something like this so that you have a similar uh, dynamic movement so we're gonna create a circle and one thing i forgot to create guys is that you have some you know lines and arrows going on so we're gonna create that once we are done creating this all right so be with me guys we're just there so grab this ellipse tool once again and i'm gonna draw an ellipse somewhere here all right so go to layer transform and center record point so that it scales from the center of the ellipse and we're going to animate this so i'm going to trim this here again hold down alt begin square bracket hit s on the keyboard scale it and maybe i'm gonna go somewhere here and set a keyframe for scale go back here 
and you're gonna scale it down f9 go to the graph once again it's just so simple guys so so you're gonna push this the bottom of all the layers and i'm gonna duplicate another copy of this and move it somewhere here and i'll do some variation here so move put it put it just between this so that one text is on top and the other text is at the bottom so hit you on the keyboard and maybe change offset the timing or maybe you know do some random scale so that you don't have the exact you don't have the exact uh, you know size of the ellipse and you can change the color of course and I think I'm gonna go with the yellow here you can choose any color you like so all right that is very cool and let's go back here and we're gonna create these lines and arrows all right that's very simple select the pen tool select it here and you can zoom out hold down shift on the keyboard and select it somewhere here so let's go inside this and add a trim path to this and we're gonna create a path so set this end to zero and set a keyframe for both of this and just have to find a timing where it needs to start maybe somewhere here set a keyframe for start and end and go few frames few frames and set this to 100 and select this upper keyframes and offset the timing of this select all the keyframes f9 go to the graph editor and change the graph to this so we're gonna come back here and refine that later on if needed and we're gonna make this a zigzag so that's very easy to create go and add and zigzag you know so right now if you can see the zigzag it's not it's not right so let's go inside this zigzag and smoothen this all right refine this to however you want you know, size to something like this and the movement is not correct the easiest way to fix this is go to trim path and drag this just below the zigzag trim this again hold down alt begin square bracket and here hold down alt close square bracket so we're gonna duplicate this one right so Control d to duplicate it right click transform and flip horizontal so let's create the triangle here select this star tool and we just need a fill of uh, something like yellow okay and if you don't have a triangle here maybe you have this star so the way how to do this is holding while holding down your mouse button click on the down arrow key on your keyboard and you have layer transform and center anchor point and we're gonna rotate this so go here in the polystar and trim this from here to here about the same length as the zigzag lines so we're gonna animate this right so go to the polystar and position and from here I think I'm gonna move to the y-axis to the y-axis to here so select all the keyframes F9 go to the graph and make it something like this right okay so once you have that you'll have to select this polystar control D to duplicate and control D to duplicate because we need three copies hit U on the keyboard and offset the timing of this all right so we'll have to do the same so rename this as triangle so control D to duplicate it right click transform horizontal and we're going to create another text the final text right here and the motion designer center it to the composition and i'm going to flip this text once again 
and maybe scale it down and and I'm gonna collapse this and go to animate and enable uh, enable per character 3d and we're gonna go and add a position so position and go to the range selector sorry for the position I'm gonna push this towards the camera and here and I'm gonna animate these offset values so before that go to the advanced and change the square to ramp up and we're gonna go and animate the offset values here so once you're here I want to start the animation and go a few frames ahead and make it to 100 go down here in the advanced and ease high to maybe 60 and ease low to maybe 25 make sure to turn on the motion blur for the layers for the layer here for all the layers in fact and let's create a line so grab the pen tool we don't need a fill here and we just need a stroke of white color make it to 5 pixel and draw a line like that and we're gonna add a trim path you know just that so go here add a trim path and animate the trim path from 0 here to uh, 100 so like all the keyframes F9 for easy ease and that is how you create this effect and if you want to learn more motion graphics tutorials watch this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care